Hi, welcome back to the next part of our tutorial to build an e-bike. Um, last time we did this pedal there um, that we can move directly with M on second layer. I make screencast keys on so you see here all what I type. First we want to build is this one here for the brakes. So we add mesh cube scale set scale y that should it be then a little subsurface on it level two good then we have to sharpen up that all so that means we make loops in control r roll the middle mouse button we have two then we scale in the x and you see you can handle the rounds then such like that that oh yeah, <laughs> that was too much in this moment now uh, it should be straight one that's correct but uh, we need in the middle it should be brighter than at uh, the end so all in all it is too long so scale x such like that then we give them here middle loop control r make a loop in and scale up set scale set so we have a little prior thing there we give them a smooth and you see that is rounded up because we use this modifier but we don't want that it should be a sharp one so we need to loop at this time there so here one and there one so we have sharp map edges that's good so and the wheel has a little form so we should take this middle and bring a little up not so much control set here with proportional editing grab set a little but only a little yeah um then uh, we have to cut in these holes here and we have to build out a planner that is smaller than the other one. So that means we take without proportional this front faces here and X root them forward and scale them down. So we have that material to cut in there uh, these holes there. So, and this holds surely two, uh, but I don't want to make that because that is n later not seeable, so that is for me nothing. Okay, um, so we now need to cut out these things, so we add mesh cylinder, scale down should be three all in all scale set we have that scale a little bit smaller get an array on it um, place them more uh, to here and give them three so we have three now and we can use them to cut out that the problem on such things is if you work with a boolean the first one never will be cut but we try it again i try it often but we will see okay so we have to apply that first then we have to say this should be applied rotation scale then set the region to geometry the same by the other one it should be applied it should be 
apply the rotation scale and that is okay so we try it I think we can go a little bit deeper I think top view a little bit okay so the name of this is cylinder 13 and we need here a modifier on so we give here the boolean and say difference and was the 13 so we take here cylinder 13 and apply that so and we have that that is nearly what we have there uh, we have to smooth that out but you see that looks ugly so we need here an edge split and then that looks better um, we see here is this a little bit thicker so we can take here this line and extrude scale so we have a little up part there scale a little bit smaller and scale in the X to get that in proportional yep so we have the same thing here like there good um, then there comes out on the back side uh, a circle that isn't a real circle is cut out there so we take here at mesh and uh, cylinder rotate x 90 degrees scale down and we have done that before in the other one but here we make a new scale what then we make a loop in so edit mode control R make a loop in And now cut off the words that we don't need. So without background selection, that is important. And then with B, we can blow this words away. And then we have that. And then we can say, take this one and search bridge. Uh, bridge add loops and then we close it correctly uh, same as when you go from no, not the same but uh, some like that that here is too high I have no special keyboard so sometimes it can be give problems okay so uh, I close that here and that here we done that before in another object so you know what I mean close that good we need here and let's move on and you see we have the shading errors so we give here and control R to make a loop and bring it on the backboard uh, some here too and here too and that should be enough uh, the planes that shouldn't be smoothed we should mark them and give them on flat also these two ones are flat and now that looks be good good um that was this black one but we make them much smaller so scale y scale and y such like that and we rotate that in set 180 degrees and bring that behind the brake so we go here and top view go in the middle yes we have 
can also take here if that isn't enough for you because I see he has a shading arrow too so we can make a loop in and then it's gone good or you can take an edge split that makes the same good uh, we now have to do this all these things that comes here later on this brake handle there good So we make this one at first. So add mesh cylinder, rotate x 90 degrees, bring them a little bit to the front, scale y. That should be this one. And never forget no object is that sharp as this line is. So we ever must bevel that. And for bevel, we need an area where we can bevel in. So we must make them with the loops. That is our barrier here. And the barrier there. Then we take this one, the middle one, and the other one width. Then extrude scale. And now we have here the area to bevel. So we can get this one and control B move the mouse and roll the middle mouse wheel and then you have rounded that and that brings better light effects on that if you don't have it you will always see that it looks not real so we get a smooth on it that is one uh, that must be a white plastic in this case we look what it here is. Here is steel. So I think we can make a steel, a gray steel. So we give here new material, call it gray steel. And make it gray. And give them on principal shader. Go in the principal shader. Give them metallic see here there is a mirror but we give them roughness so we have nearly that what we want we must tweak that letter all, uh, later all correctly but in this case that is for the first it's okay good um, then we have here the smaller one a brighter one a smaller one that we can take from the other one so shift D to duplicate that and only get here with background selection word selection and bring them near to but before you should use border selection and then we have that okay we don't cut holes in you uh, see that later on not so shift D and make it a little bit brighter like that and then comes the screw to that okay the screw we have built up before that is an instance so we can take here this screw here and shift D and bring it to position grabbing bring them to position top view yeah let's be here in front so we can scale up that okay front view a little bit deeper good that is that we want to have that comes here to the back side so we can go here and take this edge split away for a while then we take this other back thing there and join them together as one 
And then we can rotate set 180 degrees and give them this add split again. And now we take this whole thing here, this three, and join them together as one. So we have that. And that is an um, instance. So we have to go other with them. Other ways. So we first plug them on two. And we see the little two crate all in all. So we scale them down and plug in. Good. So we have that. We also need here a uh, gummy material. Uh, so that's called black gummy. Like a bubble gum, yeah, gummy. Uh, but it's special material. So we take their first um, principal shader black. We take. We give them, you see this to classy, so we give them roughness, and that comes near to. So later we will um, make the specula darker with all the black uh, guys, and that will give them the real effect. But in this case we let it stand for this time, and the next we give them that when we need it. Here is not smooth, so we smooth them again, or simply give them here a um, subdivision surface before. No, okay, I will let that and disable this. We will check that later, okay. Good. So we have built that, that we can move to with M to second layer. So we have built that thing complete together. That's good. Uh, now we have, that is our thing that we built it and we have to build the rest there. So we start with that one here. We make add curve, Z curve, rotate X 90 degrees, bring them in front then scale down edit mode take the middle word this one take the left word and right word it's for the angles and that is the position that we have and this position we grab now and bring them to there to the end where it should be then we have here the middle point and place them there in the middle. Now we want to bend it like that here is. So we grab that point here and go straight down. Then we take this word here and we can bend it more like that. And so you have bended correctly. We need a thicker. So we go here to a new icon that called the Z curve, that's from our curve. We can say uh, that should be not a half one, it should be a full rounded object, a pipe. And then we can say it should have a depth that we make as strong as we need there. And the resolution should be a three, that makes it finer all in all or you give them four or more like you will um yeah i led by three three for me is a good point and um, that should be a little bit more up that is here straight to flow in the next object there uh, good we have that I must look that in this part here can be a little bit more resolution that isn't enough for that so we can get here higher 
16 and give them a resolution of 16. Okay, that's stress me in a moment. Not only that, it's uh, very fine with this resolution. But in this case, not. Okay. So we take it as it is. Um, it's good. Good. Um, Shift D, duplicate them, um, then Alt C to convert it as a mesh. Then we see here that's bigger than the other one. So we take this loop, extrude scale, extrude and go up and done. Think on the shading arrows, so we need here a loop and there loop and that's fine good we have that uh, you can put here an add split on so that cleans it a little uh, this is a chrome thing like metal but it's chrome so I don't know have we a metal that was chrome yeah, we can take the same material thing. So we go to materials and give them gray steel can be it or silver rough. We look at silver rough. No, that is a that is it. Yeah, that's okay. With that, we can live. Uh, next is to build this whole other things there but I close for today we see us then in the next part of our tutorial so thanks a lot see you bye